Jenga, Jenga, Jenga! Edge of your seat fun. Jenga is a game of physical and mental skill. Built on the simple premise of stacking blocks, Jenga engages players of all ages across all cultures. Jenga's success rests on its solid play value. Players take turns to remove a block from a tower and balance it on top, creating a taller and increasingly unstable structure as the game progresses. Fun facts. Leslie Scott, game designer and author, developed the original Jenga classic game from a woodblock stacking game her family had created in Ghana in the 1970s. Introduced to the public at the famous Harrods department store in London in 1982, Jenga was launched in North America in 1986 and has since become an international game icon. The record for the highest known Jenga tower is 40 complete stories with two blocks into the 41st, claimed in 1985 by Robert Grebler from the United States. Jenga the company is actively seeking a new world solo height champion. Become a fan and stay tuned to the Jenga Facebook page for further news. Now let's get on to the rules. A classic Jenga game consists of 54 precision crafted, specially finished hardwood blocks. To set up the game, use the included loaded tray to create an initial tower. Stack all of the blocks on levels of three placed next to each other along their long sides and at a right angle to the previous level. So basically just make sure they're crisscrossed. Once the tower is built, the person who stacks the tower plays first. Moving in the game, Jenga consists of number one, taking one block on a turn from any level of the tower, except the one below an incomplete top level, and Number two, placing it on the topmost level in order to complete it. Players may use only one hand at a time. Either hand may be used, but only one hand may touch the tower at any time. Players may tap a block to find a loose one. Any blocks moved but not played should be replaced, unless doing so would make the tower fall. The turn ends when the next player touches the tower or after 10 seconds, whichever comes first. The loser is the person who made the tower fall. I gotta be honest with you people, these directions were read directly from the Jenga website and they don't make any sense. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you how to play this. You know, you, you put the, the plastic into place and you stack up the blocks. Three go one way and then three go the other way. It's just like, you know, crisscross. And then, the goal is to remove one of the blocks. You can only use one hand, but you, you find like a loose block and then you place it on the top. And you gotta make sure that you stack it in the crisscrossed manner. So you're gonna you know, create a, a row of three on top, another row of three on top stacked. And then, you know, whenever it falls, whoever made it fall, that's the loser. Okay, I mean, it's simple. The way that they're talking about it on the website is like so overly complicated. But I thought it was some fun information to share. I didn't know that the game was made in Ghana. That's pretty interesting. I mean, I've been playing this game since I was like five. So it's pretty second nature to me. And I feel like a lot of people probably feel the same way, which is, I mean, I kind of wondering why you're watching this. Just, <laughs> just look at the box. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you don't have the game and want to get it, the uh, Amazon, I think, uh, I know they've been selling out of stuff during this uh, crisis, but you might be able to still get some. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you on some other videos. Hasta la vista, baby.